Hello you gorgeous donuts. Today we are going to be reacting to possibly Britain's most disturbing TikToker. I'm going to refer to him as a few names which I think best describe him. The Ibiza final boss, Stephen Bear 2.0 or the Aldi Andrew Tate. I feel like just off those names you kind of get a vibe of what this guy is going to be. Now the video that made me want to do a video on this guy was this one that he posted to Twitter. Off the mouth of a naughty threesome last night Shans, don't worry about that. Fucking no. Sheets got torn up by Tiki Toki last night, but it's not about that. Why are you posting that? What are you doing? There's blood there. That looks like a crime scene, not an aftermath of a threesome. Jesus Christ. Did you have cutlery in the bedroom? What the fuck, bro? That is absolutely mental. Why would you post that on the internet? I've saw people saying that, like, if, you know, a girl does bleed during it, like, it can be the side of a lot of things. Also, that it can be the side of one thing. One thing it can be the side of is you didn't turn her on enough, so this guy's basically just like exposing himself and not being able to make them wet enough. <laughs> like he thinks this is a flex. Bro, this is not the flex you think it is. Why are you posting that you made a girl bleed? That's kind of like weird behavior. Like that's not like a trophy. Are you gonna like hang that on your mantelpiece? That is outrageous. Sheets got torn up by Tiki Toki last night, but it's the fact he's even like referring to himself in the third person. <laughs> he's like the narrator of this. Can you imagine that? Like after I had sex with Chloe, like I was just like, damn, what a performance from Kat. He really put in the hard yards there. He smashed the gaff up. <laughs> It's embarrassing, like, what are you doing? What a good motive yesterday, fuck it now. The fact that he, you know, recorded that, and then he's watched it back, and not only has he watched it back, he's went onto Twitter and went, yeah, that's mint, I'll post that. Like, what? Like, if this is the stuff that goes public, can you imagine the stuff that doesn't go public? The stuff that doesn't make it out the drafts? My God, somebody sees the hard drive. And all the comments on this tweet, like, nobody is supporting this guy. I half expected to read the comments and, like, you know, kind of be like Twitter people that would support this guy, but nobody is in favour of of this and rightly so this footage will be used against you in court one day i did say stephen bear 2.0 can you imagine being the girl like the morning after being like why is he that's literally like my blood why is he posted like surely you need consent for that surely damn bro get your butt checked out looks like dude tore something in you see you never know he might have been doing butt play for the first time you know can happen not that i'd know didn't realize his inferiority complex was this incredible yeah that could actually be a thing as well what happens if this is like him trying to convince himself that he's actually good in the bedroom like so many girls keep saying god you're so underwhelming he's like no i'm not look i made them bleed god damn it i'm actually good at this holy shit he had sex yeah i'm glad that he, he told us all that's great also people are just saying how do you know they weren't on their period like that also can be like a very reasonable explanation for this so yeah this is not the flex that he thinks it is and this like stemmed me to kind of look on his like profile to see if there was any other videos like this and i found a couple <laughs> There is so many things going on here that I really, I feel like we need to break them down like bit by bit. First off, why does he look so concerned? He looks like he's like took a shit in a toilet and someone's found out that he didn't flush it. Do you know what I mean? Like the sheer look of fear on his face. Also, why are you posting this? Like the, the girl clearly doesn't know that she's being filmed. I don't even know if you know that you're being filmed, but it's on your page. So clearly you've went the go ahead to post this. Like Stephen Bear literally got took to court over something like this. You're not allowed to do it. Also, who shags? to that music. Jesus Christ, I feel like I would have like an epileptic fit. That's all, like, my anxiety would be through the roof. I'd have to like pop a comms tablet beforehand. He's even put a link so that you can see more of this in the cupboards. Getting the telly to see this bitch doing mad shit. You know what, I'm okay. She doesn't look like she's, you know, enjoying this. So I feel like I'm just going to, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give this one a miss. Also, yeah, someone's mentioned that like, why is his mate just like sitting there watching and he's got another mate filming? Do you do that? Doesn't that make your mates like cooks? Like, are they getting off to watch? Watching you have like that's weird. I don't even think I can piss in the same room as like if my mates were in there. Like I can't piss in public. I can't piss when like random people are there. Like I need to just like put myself in this mental zone where I'm like I'm just like in some sort of dreamland where no one else is there and then it and then it can come. Right? That was a bad choice of words, guys. Apologies about that. If you're having sex and your mates are just watching, like, what is that? That is the strangest thing I've ever heard. Shagging is, is awkward enough without having to do it in front of a studio audience. Are they, like, voting you after? Like a 10 from Len? Hope not. By the way, guys, I just want to say, if you haven't already, please press the subscribe button. Then you can join the donuts in this community, this corner of the internet, as we rise together. Do you know what? Someone just told me about the Mason Greenwood situation. I had no fucking idea. I find it absolutely disgusting and an absolute embarrassment for all men that she didn't just put a 
fucking legs up. Mate, that was like so funny. Can you like, can you tell that again? Just once more. I, just, I didn't catch it. Just once more. Please, go on, tell that again. <laughs> Oh my god, that was like David Brent. That was like Michael Scott of The Office. Like, I get he was trying to be funny, but he was like, why was he so angry forcing it? He was like really like shouting down the lens. <laughs> Top comment. Not sure about this one, HS. Yeah, this one's given the... Uh, this one's like Aldi Andrew Tate kind of vibes. Isn't that what Mason Greenwood said in like the actual audio files of that? Like, yeah. Good one, mate. Can't wait to see your stand-up to us soon. Right, I genuinely have no idea why it's the new norm and, and a trend for these girls to be hoes during their 20s, right? Always a great stand Start to a TikTok. Couldn't have hoped for a better start. This is what we want. Don't get it, girl. You go sleep with 20 boys in a week if you want to. Blah, 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 blah. 20 boys in a week, sorry. That's like what? That's like nearly three a day. That is some numbers. Generational numbers. Like if you're putting them on the board, respect. How have you got the stamina? That's what I'd want to know. When you girls are 30 and you want to settle down and you look for guys around your age who are doing really well, who are wearing the RM65s and the VS1 chains and the nine inches, you look for them geezers, right? They're gone. I imagine this guy, you know, shags about quite a bit. So why is it fine for him to do it, but it's not fine for like the equivalent of if him as a girl to do it? Like what? There's no difference. Like who cares about that? If you're doing three a day, if someone like who I liked was like, yeah, um, I used to shag three people a day. Like no matter who it is, I'd be like, wow, that is a uh, that's a little bit intense, right? That like I don't even I don't even know how that is possible. But if you want to have a whole stage, you're doing dad and I, you've shagged twenty people or whatever or more. That's fine. Who cares? People won't look down on you for that, and if they do, they're probably a bit of a Day. This is seen as like walk or like people call this walk on Twitter. It's literally not walk. It's like if lads are shagging, so should lasses. Like it makes no sense why why that wouldn't be a thing. It's the same for both. All of you girls are gonna regret it in later life. When you're 20, when you're 21, when you're 22, when you're 23. If you're in your whole era, you regret who you sleep with probably the day after. They don't have to wait until they're 30. They're like, why if I why did I shag him? A lot of people might feel that already, right? That's part of doing that experience. Alright, you might get a little bit of instant gratification, but in five years, you're worth nothing. To me, you're worth nothing now, isn't it? Like, I'd dig you out one night and I'd be for, but that's it. But you're worth nothing. But then you've just said that you literally have one night stand. Oh my god, I can't. I'm not even arguing with this. Just know, girls, if you've slept with more than 10 people, then you can't get with uh, the Aldi Andrew Tate. I'm sorry, okay? And I believe that Aldi Andrew Tate kind of got big from, like, his live streams, like, clips of his live streams on TikTok. Like, that's basically the meta to be big now. Just live stream and then get other people to post your clips. Nice. You like this view, Whitney? That is very, very pretty. Yes. Whitney, this view's pretty, but you know it'd be prettier. You've been over this view. Don't think that's physically possible for me. Why? I can't stand. Oh, oh my god. Can't get every girl you like, right? Some people technically can't do what you want them to do, me. I mean, he couldn't have saw that coming. What's your name, babe? Ava. Okay, Ava, nice to meet you. My name's Harrison. You've got some braces on, which means you're young, which is good for me. That's really good for me. I like young girls. You can just hear that clip getting played in court. <laughs> oh my god, why would you say that? I know you're joking. Hopefully, I think you're joking. But why would you even, like, bring that upon yourself? From bro? anyway, Eva. Um, Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine, okay. Are you a Kiev Lenger? Can you imagine, like, you know, living in Ukraine at the moment, going through everything that you're going through, and then the worst part about your day is going live with this guy? You've got to give him credit. That takes something. Are you, you're a Kiev Lengers, yeah? Yes, yes. Oh, you're Kiev Lengers. Ah, what, looking for some shelter? Putin and that. Come on, come on. Ever, ever. I'm pretty sure this guy went to private school. So why does he speak like that? Like, it gives Raw Where's My Bucky vibes. <laughs> you watch Top Boy once. Oh, fuck me. This thing's Wi-Fi. Jesus. I think there might be some something disrupting the wi-fi in ukraine um yeah there's something going on there yeah oh yeah a fucking war yeah that's what i said to you at uni you literally look like you're at uni no how old I'm are you then 17 we've got a spicy young you here for you go on oh my god like it's clear he's joking but it is just weird like she said you're 17 like instantly you just like get right right okay get off the live but then he like he has to call her like a spa oh, jesus what the fuck am i watching like we've made a video on this general g guy if you want to go and watch it it's this one right here watch it after the video that guy rivals the aldi andrew tate for like weirdness oh no what a shame i've got to live in dubai where the girls are stunning the cars are nice the weather's good the people are nice i can walk with my rm in safety but fuck i gotta live there this guy is an absolute nerd anyone who listens to him and takes him seriously is a gimp relax yourself your butters you bake off <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, uh, relax yourself, your butters, you. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Hit what you Paul Hollywood? What does that mean? Bake off. This is, like, so strange. It just feels like it's put on. Like, this doesn't feel like what he actually speaks like. Like I said before, he said in, like, a podcast that he went to private school. For school? You went private school? Went private primary and private secondary, yeah. So this just reminds us of, like, you know, in 8 Mile, where he's like, his real name's Clarence. <laughs> it's like, why are you saying, like, but as you and all this when bro you probably had caviar for dinner everyone in the comments is like they need to get a refund for that private school to be fair this man is probably making a lot more money than he would if he did one of those jobs which is absolutely crazy to say i found out how much like big tiktok has made the other week and i was like oh my god they get so much more money than youtubers it's crazy it makes me want to go tiktok full time these people are making bank he also gets uh, quite annoyed at fat people uh so if there's any you know people on the larger side watching this Unlucky. Okay, why is it now acceptable that women can be fat? My uncle used to tell me, like, if there was fat bitches 40 years ago, they'd be called fat bitches. Yeah. Now, oh, it's positive, like, come, come to us. It's everyone nowadays has gotten so soft. Everyone nowadays has been given, like, a participation trophy. This is like a 4am chat that the worst person you know has with these friends. Why do you care? Like, fair enough if someone is, like, very, very morbidly obese and, like, they're taking years off their life, okay, and you're, like, you know, somebody in the health sector and you want to stop that. Fair enough. But people are just on the larger side. Why do you care? It literally has no impact on your life whatsoever. I can just imagine this guy walks down the street and he just sees like someone on the larger side and he's like, and that has ruined my fucking dear that Taz. How could they be so inconsiderate of my feelings? The Bastard! People would call me soft for saying this, but it's just the truth. You shouldn't get annoyed at how somebody else treats their own body. That's their body. It has nothing to do with you. This guy brags about, obviously, like, you know, having a lot of money, like, living in Dubai, which, like, he obviously is, he is doing really well for himself in terms of, like, where he's living and, like, I imagine the standard of his living is really good. But there was a TikTok that came out where, apparently, he wears fake clothing, which is, to me, like, I don't even care. Like, if someone wears fake clothing, I literally wouldn't judge them at all. But it's just the fact if you're bragging about how much money you have, that's when it makes it a little bit weird. Wait a minute, is HS Tiki Tucky wearing a fake? So the t-shirt he's wearing is a Louis Vuitton monogram bandana tee, and a real one is worth around £800. If you compare HS's tee to the real one, you can clearly see his is missing a lot of detailing around the neck and upper t-shirt. But I'm no master in luxury fashion, so I could have been making a mistake. So I made sure I wasn't, and I had some experts take a look. By the way, these guys are geniuses, like luxury fashion nerds, and every single one of these guys said the t-shirt oh was either God. fake or not an original Louis Vuitton. Product. Oh my god, he's actually like eight and left no crumbs there. He has tortured this man. It's just funny. Like if I wore like a fake Louis Vuitton t-shirt, no one would say anything because I don't brag about that kind of thing. It's just the fact if you brag about it, you have to make sure that you are actually paying for all this stuff. Otherwise, it's just embarrassing. He also like I've saw clips of this on my TikTok. Like I think he runs his own like influencer boxing underground events. Somehow he manages to just like get the worst people ever in a room together. Like watch this clip. <laughs> Okay, so this guy clearly on the floor like is terrible at boxing like the man had no defense The guy was getting punched and was just like his hands were totally down So whether he should actually be in a boxing match at all never mind like an unlicensed one is kind of wild Like this man could get serious life lasting pain off this and then when he's down like watch what everyone does <laughs> Look at this man here. This man is like a full-ass grown man. A man that looks like he could have kids. Someone that's knocked out on the floor. He's just shoving his phone there. Someone that clearly needs medical attention. What are you doing? How sad can you be? Like, this actually annoys us. I don't actually normally get annoyed at these videos. Like, normally I'm just having fun. But this clip, when I saw it, I was like, this guy could actually have just took years off his life. And you've got some bell end live on TikTok filming it because he's getting like a few hundred viewers off it. It's like, bro, what are you doing? This is my idea idea of hell like genuinely like you know if i be a bad person in this life they would send me to somewhere like this and yeah like the guy's got like really odd tweets as well like he tweeted this about uh i believe this is shane dawson and his husband uh, adopting some children now i'm not going to read it because as you can see the language in this is terrible but he mentions shane dawson being like a registered sex offender i'm not gonna lie i don't know that much if anything about shane dawson so if that is true then he you know should obviously not be able to adopt but the first bit where he says like same sex couples adopting children 
children should be strictly forbidden. It's like, what are you going on about, bro? Like, you're doing this on purpose to get a reaction and to feed into people that actually believe this. I guarantee there's people in art, in media that you listen to who were raised by parents who are gay. Just off the top of my head, like, if he listens to, like, hip-hop, like, Jay-Z, I'm pretty sure, like, his mother was gay, uh, or his father was gay, 50 Cent, I'm pretty sure he had a gay parent, like, like people you literally consume have gay parents, so, like, why would you not think that other people can adopt who are also gay? Like, I don't get it at all. I'm just trying to get in the psyche of him, that's why I brought up these people, I'm, I, I know that's not, like, a, a real reason. But yeah, I was, oh, I was feeling fiery in this one, guys. If you want to see me do a video on his mate, uh, General G, click right here, because we go deep in that one, or watch a brand new video from me right here. Cam Kirkham, baby!